Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to take one of Final Cut Pro's included effects, modify it by applying a color correction to it, and save it as our own custom effect. Welcome back to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. This is part 14 of my full color correction series. If you haven't yet, check out the rest of the series to learn how to color correct and color grade your clips, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. New videos released weekly. Let's take a look at our clip here. What we can do is combine one of Final Cut Pro's effects with a color correction and save it as one of our own effects to use over and over again. The custom effect we're going to create today is similar to the tint effect that can be found in the color category of the effects browser, but a little less dark with more contrast. To create a custom effect, the first thing we need to do is apply the black and white effect. With a clip selected, double click the black and white effect in the effects browser to apply it to your clip. Next, let's blow out the background to hide some of the clouds in there while still keeping decent exposure. In the black and white effect inspector, there's a color chip, and we can use the grayscale values to blow out the background while still keeping good exposure. Now that that's done, let's add a color correction to our effect. Press Command 6 to open the color board, and Command 7 to open the video scope, and let's select RGB Parade. First, in the Exposure tab, let's bring down the highlights until they're a little closer to 100. Now, let's select the Color tab and drag the Global Puck into the blue to give it a blue tint. Right about there looks good. Now, to compare this to Final Cut Pro's built-in tint effect, select the clip, press Command-C to copy it, and Command-V to paste it at the end. In the Inspector, select Color Correction and delete it by pressing the delete key. Do the same to the black and white effect. With our clip still selected, double click the tint effect in the effects browser to apply it to our clip. Let's compare the effect we created to Final Cut Pro's tint effect. Quite a bit lighter and more pleasing to watch. Now, here's the cool part. We can save this color correction as a preset by choosing Save Preset, but if we go back to the inspector, we can save this as an effects preset. If we do it this way, all our effects applied to this clip will also be saved in this preset. So if we click this button, you can see the black and white effect and the color correction will be saved in this preset, along with any other parameter we select. I'll name my preset Custom Tint, and create a new category by selecting it from the drop-down menu. This will save my preset in the Effects Browser, and when applying it to different clips, both the black and white effect and the color correction will be applied. So, with the ability to combine current effects with color correction, the amount of looks you can achieve in Final Cut Pro goes up exponentially. Play around and see what kind of unique look you can create for your videos. If you enjoy my tutorials, please like, comment, and share this video across your social media. New videos release weekly, so if you haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.